helping you plan your day with Central Virginia's most accurate forecast. Meteorologist Carrie Rose. Your best shot today comes from Amelia Robert Durham, one of our regular photographers who sends in sunrise and sunset pictures. I liked this one because of the bridge there and the contrast with the water. You can send me your best nature weather shot on Facebook, Twitter, or tag me on Instagram and I'll be able to see it. Temperatures, oh yeah, this feels good for the first morning of fall into generally the mid to upper 50s across the heart of the metro and broadening back out. It's cooler as you get north and west of town. That's where you guys are waking up in May want to send the kids off to the bus stop with a fleece or an extra layer while it is a bit on the cool side this morning. And this is a big change from where we were yesterday morning at this time. So this takes us back in time comparing how we were from this time yesterday morning to right now. And it's ranging about 10 to about 20 degrees cooler right now than where we were yesterday morning just after the cold front passed through and look at our neighboring states off to the north and northwest they're into the 40s even 39 as you get up into parts of new york state this is all that cool dry air underneath this area of high pressure remember i was talking about this yesterday that would keep on sliding east toward us that's exactly what it's been doing but let me draw your attention to this because this is going to become our big story for the middle of this week this is our boundary that was our cold front yesterday morning it's now stalled off of the carolinas coastline but but this moisture right here, it's coming back up our way for tomorrow, and that is good news because we need the rain, and it looks to me like we'll have that decent chance for rain tomorrow afternoon. But for today, we'll see a lot of what you see right now passing over us. High and mid-level clouds, they're being picked up out at the airport where it is 56 degrees, winds from the north. So here's your planner in detail for today. It's a really nice day, cooler than yesterday, still dry, 73 degrees with a northeast breeze at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So let's Check out those other highs today across the map, partly cloudy skies, northeast winds. A few of you, especially to the south and west, will only in, get into the upper 60s for highs today. So there goes our air of high pressure, keeps on trucking off to the north and east. And then look, an area of low pressure is going to form along that boundary that I showed you off to our south. And that's what's going to help send that moisture that's currently locked down to our south back up toward us and look at the time. Let's check the clock. This is tomorrow at 1 p.m. and you can see that moisture starting to creep in. So let's just zoom in closer and get a better idea of where the rain will be most focused. Sure, we can still get some showers a little bit farther off into the western Piedmont heading out toward the mountains, but because this is a coastal low pressure system and hanging out toward the bay that will generally favor locations east and along of I-95. There's the low you can see right there passing over the eastern shore with the best rainfall into the eastern half of the Commonwealth. Let's check the clock again. Again, this is Thursday morning at 7 a.m., so still some showers around through Thursday morning, and then it dries out. So how much rain could we squeeze out of this? As you can see, tapers off quickly the farther west you go, but along and to the east of I-95 and toward the bay, that will be the best place to see potentially one to two inches of much needed rainfall. We really do need this. So the timing on this, remember, Wednesday afternoon, so you can get through Wednesday morning dry, but from lunch break Wednesday all the way through your Thursday morning commute, you'll probably want to keep that rain jacket with you. All right, let's get a check right now with you guys. All right, thanks, Carrie. Caught on camera, drive.